G'day. So I thought I would look at um, the idea of uh, worship, uh, and that I'm focusing basically on um, Jesus' teachings more than any other aspect of um, uh, Christian teachings. So in terms of um, what Jesus says about worshiping God, I think probably the best verse to look at would be John chapter 4. And uh, this is the story of the um, Samaritan woman at the well. But um, down in verse 24 of John chapter 4, uh, Jesus is saying, God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. So I think this is a, a key um, part, piece of scripture for understanding what Jesus is talking about when, he, when we think about uh, worshipping God. Uh, he's talking about God the Father and um, that we should worship him in spirit and in truth. So then we probably need to probably work out what what does Jesus mean by in spirit. Well, from what we know happened at Pentecost, uh, God's spirit was poured out upon the believers, uh, the Christian believers. So, and, and we know that uh, the three aspects uh, of God in the Trinity, uh, which comes out of the teachings of uh, of Christianity in the Bible are that um, God is in the three persons of uh, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. So the aspect of um, Spirit that Jesus is talking about here would obviously be the Holy Spirit which is the third person uh, of the Trinity uh, of, of God. So this is something that you have to be a believer, obviously, to receive. It may be something that uh, you receive when you're baptised. It may be something that you receive just upon believing uh, in the teachings uh, of Christ. So whichever what, whichever um, aspect of belief you think is, uh, is more important, uh, then at some point uh, in your belief, um, you will receive God's Holy Spirit. So once you have that spirit in your life, Jesus is saying here that you you are able to worship. You know, you you're worshiping through God's spirit being part of you. And the other aspect he mentions here is truth. So I think uh, we need to be uh, true to uh, God's teachings in our life. To, to leading the Christian life as truthfully as we can. Obviously, we're, we're not perfect. Um, Christians are sinners. We all sin. There's no doubt about that. I'm a sinner just as much as everybody else. So Christianity is not about being perfect. Um, that's not you know, you know, part of Christianity. You know, a lot of people try and sort of um, discredit uh, Christians by you know picking aspects of their life that are you know reflect sinfulness, but you know Jesus teaches uh, at in one instance of the Bible where there was a woman caught in adultery, and um, there's a group of people around about to throw stones at her, you know, and he he makes the the famous remark um, that. Uh, as he says to the the crowd of people with stones, you know, who among you uh, is without sin, you know, and let them be the first to cast a stone. So, basically, at that point, Jesus is saying, look, you know, all humanity is sinners. There's a scriptural verse saying, you know, all have sinned and all fall short of the grace of God or the glory of God. It's it's not about whether we're a sinner or not. Um, you know, to be living truthfully, um, because we're not going to change um, as being sinful in nature. Um, but we can certainly try and turn away from that to the extent that we can. Paul talks about the struggle, you know, of being a Christian. You know, that which I do not want to do, I do. You know, so we can't sort of 
just turn off our human nature and uh, suddenly become, you know, Christ-like. That's, that's not going to happen. So we have to live with um, being sinful in nature and trying our best to turn away from it, being empowered through Christ's Spirit and trying to live true to his teachings. And as I've mentioned in other videos, you know, the most um, paramount teaching that Jesus is talking about is to love God and, and love our neighbours. So you know, that's really the truth uh, of, of living the Christian life. So to be worshipping God in spirit and in truth, as far as I can see, it's basically saying you need to believe in order to receive God's Holy Spirit. That's one part of it. The other part of it needs to be worshipping in truth. So being truthful to God's commands, which are to love Him and to love our neighbours. So I think if we're doing those, if we've done those two things, or those two things are a part of our Christian walk, then we are worshipping God. Worshipping by believing and receiving the Spirit, and then by walking in the commands of God to love Him and love our neighbours. And that, you know, that sort of plays out in the idea of being a servant, you know, serving other people, serving the believers. Um, so that's, I think, um, basically the nutshell uh, of what I believe Jesus is talking about when he talks about worshipping. Um, I know there are lots of verses in the Old Testament that talk about things like um, you know, singing songs, rejoicing, playing musical instruments and things like that. And uh, sure, they can be a part of worship. Um, meeting together can be a part of worship. There's a lot of aspects of it that come from the Old Testament that can be a part of worship. But the fundamental aspects of it that Jesus is talking about, you know, we're there in... Uh, John 4. So have a look at that and um, remember to um, keep worshipping God in spirit and in truth. I'll talk to you later.